So you want to add some cinematic sauce to your video? Well, I got you with this radial blur effect as this effect literally looks so freaking good. I used it on my recent reel and on the footage that you guys have seen on screen right now, which by the way, if you guys want to follow along this tutorial, the footage will actually be down in the description below already color graded for you. But before we go ahead and get into today's tutorial, I want you guys to know that my name is Chris Bustead and I run the takeover editing shop where it's editing assets and presets and a short form editing course for short form editors just like you. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get straight into today's tutorial. Okay, so when you guys load in the footage you guys are gonna have something just like this you guys are gonna have color graded footage which by the way i use my chris season lut if you guys want to go check it out link will be down in the description below i use it in all of my personal brand content including this youtube video that you're watching right now so just a quick tip for this effect you don't really want anything on the edges to be moving as you guys can see, nothing on the edges are moving for me, and you want it to be a tripod shot. Now, you guys want to go to the first frame of the video. Go over here to this export frame button. If you don't have it, just go ahead, go to button editor, find it, and just drag and drop it into here. I already have it. I'm just going to go ahead and hit the camera and then name it this whatever. So just whatever, yada, yada. Hit OK, and then that's going to go to our desktop or wherever location you put it to. I'm going to go ahead and minimize the Premiere Pro. And as you can see, this is our sort of image. We're going to go to Photoshop. We're going to go to Open, just like so. Hit Open, just like that and then we're going to go over here to the filter blur radial blur and this is where the actual effect takes place so if you want it to be a stronger sort of spin you guys can see it kind of you can turn it all the way up if you want it to be super subtle which i highly recommend i'm just going to go ahead and go with two you want the blur method to be spin and not zoom zoom you guys can see it kind of like makes a zoom effect you just want it to be spin and bring it down to two and then you guys can change the quality to good best draft go to best might as well and then there you guys go you guys see this sort of effect taking place which is looking really really clean next step go to file export we're done with this we could just go ahead name it whatever just like that open up adobe premiere pro import what you just had just like this import and then i'm just going to drag and drop it just like that and as you can see if we play it through it's just an image it's not moving and that's not what we want so we're going to go to the opacity now i'm just going to create a mask around me because i know that i move a little bit i'm not going to add the foot because the foot doesn't move at all either so pretty much what's important right here is you want to mask out everything that's going to move so that includes me and maybe a little bit of stuff around me we're also going to go to the mask expansion hit inverted so that way it hits the background with the blur instead of just me we're gonna go to mass feather just kind of really feather it out make it look really nice honestly kind of just around this sort of area looks fine to me you could adjust the mask just like so maybe just bring it closer in towards me and to me that looks really clean and let's go ahead and just play it through see how it looks and bam there you guys go you guys literally have the effect done for you literally super easy and looks super super cinematic but anyways guys i know today was a very short tutorial but i thought it was pretty saucy i did it in my recent reel so if you guys want to go check that out it'll be down in the description as well but i just wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart guys i think we're gonna be at 20k when this video gets posted if not literally within a couple of days and 20k youtube subscribers to me is just like insane bro like i'm genuinely so grateful for each and every single one of you guys for pulling up and supporting the takeover shop and one last thing i actually got a little takeover hat custom by lids looks pretty clean pretty swag um i don't have the best head for a hat so it might look a little funky but i think it looks pretty good not gonna lie i think next hat that i'm gonna make is probably gonna be like a takeover sort of star but anyways guys that is it for me today please like comment subscribe down below remember take action take over Peace out.